Hey, what's up guys, it's Somir and today I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step guide for the best autofocusing settings on the Panasonic GH5. Panasonic GH5 comes with a lot of autofocusing settings and a lot of features but it still needs some time to get it right and set it up. I did a video yesterday in the morning and I'm going to leave a link up in this video so you can check how the background is pulsating. So make sure your background is not pulsating and the camera is not hunting like every second. You need to make sure you are on the correct AF setting. So I am going to show you exactly what to get it done step by step right from my camera. Find this focus circle menu and just click on AFS AFF. Make sure it's always set to AFS AFF. Then go to your FN2 and go to focus methods and just make sure it's on custom multi select that and keep it on always if you want to save the menu you can save that forever as well to the c1 then let's go ahead with the other settings click on menu then go to the i guess it's third menu set and click on the focus release shutter then once you are there just click on uh, the first you have to do is set AFA lock to AF on. So AFA lock will be right here. Set to AF on. Then go to quick AF. It should be always on. Then go to eye sensor AF. It should be always on. Then go to pinpoint AF settings. And pinpoint AF setting it should be short. Just set it to short then click back. Then go to the focus release priority. It should be both set to focus always right so both are set to focus then click back and then af plus mf it should be always on then you have to get back to the previous menu settings again and go to the second menu set here you will find the continuous af it should be always on and the af custom settings video it should be always off so that's it uh, you're pretty much set with all the settings then go back again and click on fn2 just make sure the custom menu is set Alright, so in my table I have placed some of my items and so let's go ahead and check with the focusing. So let's start with my Mavic Pro. You can see that the Mavic Pro is exactly in focus. Let's focus to something too far from it. Yes, it focuses. Then again to Mavic. Focusing perfect. Philips Hue focused. Road Lava Mic. Focused perfect. Google Home focused, Google Wi Fi focused, then it came to Mavic focused, Google Redream VR focused, then to my GoPro focused, perfect. Let's try again. Redream VR from the close. So let's focus a bit far to Google Hue. It's focused, then focus to something else. Yes, you can see that the zoom is in focus. Road mic is in focus, my phone is in focus, perfect, Atomos Ninja in focus, then again focusing back to something far, let's see Google Chromecast, it's in focus, perfect. Now you can see that the in the back there is a knob box and it's out of focus and let's try to focus on that, I mean just by moving the camera, it's in focus, that's quite fast, let's move it to GoPro. You can see that the NAR box is still in focus, then moving the camera to GoPro. Perfectly in focus. Then to Dream VR, in focus. Then to Google Wi Fi, in focus. Then Mavic Pro, in focus. Google Home, in focus. Then to my paintings, in focus. Again, the hue, in focus. Let's try with my young lights. Perfectly in focus. Perfect in focus. In focus. In focus. In focus and that's quite fast. Awesome. My paintings again. Perfectly in focus. So if we start focusing to something else too far distance is still in focus and then we are going to move it to my helmet in focus then something far like the projector in focus moving it to the helmet perfectly in focus in focus in focus 
in focus gorilla pod in focus a bit far in focus then we are going to move it to joby logo in focus say to my mac in focus send this in focus atomos in focus fcpx open on my computer in focus so basically the focus in working great in focus